Today we're asking the question, buttons versus headlines, which is more important? Welcome to Copy Hacks. Let's go! You would think that in a series of videos about headlines, we wouldn't even give the time of day to the idea that buttons might be more important. But we're all about conversion rate optimization, which means we test ideas all the time. And for as legendary an advertiser David Ogilvy was, we doubt he had visions of landing pages and click-through rates in his head. Things change. And as things change online, we get the opportunity to learn new things and apply them. A while back, we did some headline tests for Dressipy.com. They're a UK-based service that lets you find clothes you'll love no matter your size. Here's a control headline. Clothes you'll love, perfect for your shape and style. We figured the headline was something we could improve. Through our research, we found Dressipy users and prospects talked about their bodies and clothes in a more casual way. So we pushed the envelope and tested a riskier headline. Big bum, thick waist, not so perky boobs, find outfits you'll look fab in just as you are. Not the safest headline, but sometimes you need to throw a little friction into the mix. The test did result in a lift of about 15%, but that result never reached confidence. As Joe said, visitors were essentially telling us, it's better, sure, but meh. When a test doesn't knock it out of the park, the postmortem can lead to a lot of questions. Was the headline too risky? Were the question marks too much? Was it too long? But then we threw out the idea that maybe the headline wasn't the problem. If you look at the button, it says sign up now. That's pretty standard button copy. One that could be used on a site like Dressipy, but also on a site that sells a food delivery service or antique doorknobs or CrossFit for dogs. In other words, it wasn't tailored specifically to the site. And as we've said before about headlines, clear and specific goes a long way. How about doing the same for buttons? We kept our new headline and tested the control button of sign up now against show me outfits I'll love. The result, a huge lift in clicks, 123.9% to be exact, with 100% confidence. Okay, so buttons make all the difference in the world, right? Well, not so fast. We ran another test on a landing page for health insurance comparisons in Australia. In these, we changed either the button or the button and the headline together. In all three versions, we beat the control, but only optimizing the button actually gave us the worst result of the three. We got our best results when we optimized for both the headline and the button. In one case, outperforming the button optimization by 64%. So here's the bad news. You watched a versus video expecting to hear button copy is more powerful than a headline, or that headline is king and buttons are garbage. And we're not going to do either. Feels like a cop out, doesn't it? But let's look at the bigger picture. We showed that button copy can have a big impact on your conversions, but it always does its best work when working with your headline. It's like those superhero movies where the heroes fight each other, but then realize they should team up and take down the bad guys. I think there are only about like 30 of them in the past decade, and they were all awesome. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more tips on how to write great headlines, be sure to click the subscribe button. New videos are added every single week. Click here to check out some more videos and drop us a line in the comments section. Let us know what you'd like to see us cover next on Copy Hacks by your very good friends at Copy Hackers. <laughs>